the discontented horse by gotthold ephraim lessing seventeen twenty nine to seventeen eighty one read for librivox dot org the discontented horse as jupiter once was receiving petitions from birds and from beasts of all ranks and conditions with an eye full of fire and mane quite erect which i'm sorry to say showed but little respect the horse went as near as he dared to the throne and thus made his donkey-like sentiments known for beauty of symmetry fleetness and force it is said that all animals yield to the horse while my spirit i feel and my figure i view in the brook i'm inclined to believe it is true but still mighty jupiter still by your aid in my form might some further improvements be made to run is my duty and swifter and stronger i surely would go were my legs to be longer and as man always places a seat on my back i should have been made with a saddle or sack it have saved him much trouble on journeys departing and i had been constantly ready for starting great jupiter smiled for he laughed at the brute as he saw more of folly than vice in his suit and striking the earth with omnipotent force a camel arose near the terrified horse he trembled he started his mane shook with fright and he staggered half round as preparing for flight behold exclaimed jove there an animal stands with both your improvements at once to your hands his legs are much longer the hump on his back well answers the purpose of saddle or sack of your shapes tell me which is more finished and trim speak out silly horse would you wish to be him the horse looked abashed and had nothing to say and jove with reproaches thus sent him away be gone till you gratefully feel and express your thanks for the blessings and gifts you possess the camel though plain is mild useful and good you are handsome but proud discontented and rude end of poem this recording is in the public domain